guys, Zuljin here. Welcome back to the Cobblestone Chronicles. So guys, last time we left off, we were playing around with a road build uh, outside. And I'm going to definitely finish that up today. Got quite a bit to talk about today, I believe. Let's see, I'll grab me some coal here. Um, so what I've been noticing is the Chronicles episodes are not getting the views that they used to. Now, I realize it's probably because I put out, like, triple uh, the amount of episodes that I used to put out. But, all in all, I really just want to do what um, what you guys want, you know? And I, I really enjoy just playing the whole time, you know, just doing my thing and um, playing, in, playing in the world. My question to you guys is, what would y'all think about me going to maybe three or four episodes a week a little bit longer about a 30 minute episode because the recording time would still be the same for me but the upload schedule would be a little bit different for you guys i'm just kind of trying to get the feel of what y'all think would be um would be better because i know not everybody can watch all the time and um it does get a little oh that pumpkin just grew <laughs> like that second um not all of you get the time to watch like you really um, probably would like to and I realize that I want to change these right quick somebody said that um, I should put the logs the opposite way to make it look like trim and I think that's a really really good idea by the way so in other news <laughs> uh, my subscriber special went over really really well I think a bunch of you enjoyed that and I really really appreciate that you guys um, I had a lot of fun making it for sure it was it was like crazy awkward at first because I never ever did anything like that before. I mean, I've done vlogs and stuff, but uh, it, um, as I mean, <laughs> y'all could probably tell I was a little bit awkward. It's just, um, I don't know, it's it's crazy to worry about camera angles and lighting and stuff like that. It's just a, it's a different ball game when you get down to it. But all in all, it was fun, and I really, really enjoyed doing that. But I couldn't do it for a living, like uh, those guys on the cooking specials and stuff. Or the girls, mostly. There's a lot of girls that do the cooking specials. Let's see, I got some more sand here. So last time, we were building up this road a little bit, and um, it got dark on us. So that's why we had stopped, for the most part. And it was about time to cut the episode anyway. So I'm going to finish up with these little hedges, and we'll go from there. Um, as other updates for PlayOnCon, uh, unfortunately, MC Gamer I think injured his knee doing um, <laughs> doing what Goo described as uh, Elf or Zelda moves from the Zeldathon, and I thought that was quite hilarious. Not that he hurt his knee naturally, but the fact that he was doing uh, <laughs> Zelda moves. So I th you know, like I said. Um, He's a human, you know, he can't do elf stuff. <laughs> so, but for the most part, it doesn't look too promising on his journey to play on con. I don't know for sure. I think he's got to see like a surgeon or something like that, but um, we'll figure that out soon enough, I suppose. But if he doesn't come, I think I'm going to be staying with Good, which will actually be really, really nice. You know, um, he's, he's one of the people that I really care to meet anyway, so it should be... Um, it should be good times all around. Let me go ahead and fill this in. <coughs> and I do need to start. I don't know why I filled in all the leaves the whole way. Because I'm definitely going to need to cut some of them down. I still have some shears. So it should be good. I only have three pumpkins. The pumpkin thing is really, really slow. How about if I just take a couple torches? Do I have any with me? No. But I do have some coal. So I can make that happen jungle wood instead of regular wood the sticks and let's get some torches out yeah that looks good and we'll do the jack-o-lanterns and we'll go ahead and place that here just to show you how it'll look until I have enough resources to actually finish it off so it is orange underneath but it still is a um, It'll provide some ambient light, and I think it'll be just fine. So let's go ahead, and I think I want to change this out to sand. All right. So now we need to put a few sandstone steps, I believe. Or half slabs, not steps. And we'll do... 
Uh, we'll have to do this. I think. Yeah. And that looks pretty good. We'll probably just finish it up with edges like so. And that'll be good. Let's go ahead and put... I don't have enough fence posts on me. I was going to put a couple fence posts, but that should be alright. Do I still have my shovels? Yes. Shovel this out. And that looks like a pretty good coastline to me. So now that it's turning dark, I'll get to see some of it. I don't have any more pumpkins. I wish I did. But I do like the way the road came out. It's um, it's real nice. I really like that. So the next thing we got to do a little bit is uh, work on the patio out back. I want to do a little bit of an extension for uh, the back door here. And right before it gets too dark, I'll show you what I want to do. I'm thinking about coming out a bit and making this come out flat so that I can have a deck area. And it's not going to come out too far naturally because I have all this form stuff, but I will probably will have to move it in general. I think I'm only going to move it out probably a few more pieces out. I can go three pretty safely out here, so that's probably what I'm going to do. So let's sleep. And then we'll go to work on that. So yeah, I'm really, really excited about play on you guys. It's coming very, very fast. <laughs> Faster than I expected. It's about a seven and a half hour trip for me. Um, so it's going to be interesting. My car is not the best either. I mean, it's, don't get me wrong, it's a decent car. But it, um, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It's a... Uh, it's got a hundred something thousand miles on it, so <laughs> you know it. Uh, it's seen its better days. It's never broken on me though, which kind of scares me because if I go on a seven-hour trip, um, that would be the time that it would break when I was far away from everybody that I know with any kind of mechanical expertise. So let's see. I think we'll keep this border, or we might do away with that. I'm not sure. Oh, what did I do? I just chopped down. My entire front steps. My bad, you guys. This was supposed to be... This is for the front porch. And I need to do that on the back porch. I was wondering what the heck. I'm tripping. It's been a long day. I've had a little bit to drink. So that's probably why you just saw that major fail. But all in all, it's good. Been playing a lot of Cube World with uh, the guys on Hypermine, which has been a load of fun. Um, getting some pretty good levels, increasing pretty fast here, and uh, starting to see some new content. Recently found a couple different biomes, and uh, even though a lot of the stuff like the plant life over there doesn't give any kind of extra resources, it's still pretty fun to, uh, to explore that type of stuff. The enemies are way too hard. Which is a it's it's a nice change of pace for Minecraft because you don't get uh, that difference all the time. So I think I'm gonna go with lower um, with a lower level here and keep this divide. So it'll be like the porch will be separate from the actual uh, the actual house. So let's see here. I guess oak would probably be the way to go, even though birch seems like a viable option as well. Let's put away some of this stuff. I know some of you are probably saying sandstone, but I don't think I want to do sandstone yet. I think I enjoy the, um, the look of the wood more. And I don't really have a whole lot of birch to work with now, do I? I guess I'm going to have to go get a little bit, which I should have thought about that before I cut down the entire um, fence there for the protection. But it's okay, we'll go grab a couple birch trees. I should have some in the neighboring area that's not too bad. We'll just go out back here. So yeah, for the most part, you guys, been a pretty good week. Uh, work is going pretty good now. Everything is kind of stabilized as far as uh, the labor and the duties. It's like I go to work now and I have stuff to do. It's still a little sporadic. Not nothing major, but I am getting um, some downtime. Like I'll have two hours at a time sometimes where I'm just kind of struggling to find things to do which kind of makes the day pass by slowly but all in all it's it's pretty decent I'm getting to tear apart some phones which is a little bit um, that's a little bit cool right get to break apart some stuff 
let's get these few. I'd like to do the little Whitewood Lake project that I did eventually in um, in on the fan server as well. That was a really really fun project, and I sure enjoyed doing that. And I think that it would be cool to do it in this area too, because it's like um, it's kind of like the same deal. I mean, as far as look goes, I was in the woods, you know. And I still want to do that treehouse. Not treehouse, but that lookout. Am I out of axe? I sure am. I'll need to go grab some more axe. My armor's getting pretty rough here too. My uh, my helmet's just about gone here. But I've got a little bit of wood. That's probably plenty enough to go with to start the porch project. So we'll work with that. All right, I am gonna do a little bit more decorating too. And let's see, okay, so Birch will definitely need to go in here. And I'm gonna make another ax, I believe. Let's see, got a couple of iron here. And still got some sticks on, and no, I used all my sticks for torches. No big deal. Where was that jungle wood? Do I still have it on me? No, I could use that though. That'll work. Okay, jungle. Now sticks. And we're good. Let's make our little axe. Boom. And run upstairs and give it a level. And somebody had said that um, my 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 library shelves, my bookshelves, need to be a little bit further away to get better levels. And I'm glad you pointed that out because I wasn't even thinking about it. Unbreaking one, perfect. All right, let's head down here, and we'll go with. Let's just use all that birch up, and we'll just do a stack and a half for now. And we'll call that good. And let's start here. So, I guess I'm still gonna border this. I'll probably need to drop it down some, but right now I'll just go on the lower level. And we'll do three more out. I think right here it's gonna be a little bit different. Let's go to, we might need to do a little landscaping. Because it doesn't really come out enough to call it, um, to make it stand up, you know, like off the ground. So. Actually, that is one, two, four out. Do I have any dirt on me? Nope. Get some dirt. Perfect. Well, I stay full now. My inventory slots. I mean. All right. And that means I'll need dirt here, and dirt at least in those. We'll worry about the landscape in just another little bit. I have a feeling the tree's gonna have to come out, and we're definitely gonna have to pull away with this form deal. I hate to bring up those pumpkin stems after I used my bone meal on them. The good news is the carrots are almost there, so I guess what I'll do is, as I pull the carrots, I won't replant them, and I'll actually make some sort of gardening deal sooner or later. Let's go. Let's chop down a couple of these trees, I'm guessing. I guess that'll work. This one too. And what does this one connect to? This one doesn't connect to anything, okay? But this one does, and so do these. I really hate to get that far into it. How about if I just chop up a few these leaves and let it deteriorate? There we go. Well, we might as well just finish off our, uh, our shears here and help it along its way. I'll use the leaves eventually for something. Alright. So now I can go... Let's go out one more right here. And we can go with some more dirt, let's say here, 
I like to make it a gradual slope, not not solid, you know what I mean? Okay. So there we have our little porch. And we'll definitely need to eat up some of this ground right here where these carrots and stuff are at. But I think if I pull them out now, I'll only get one carrot. So that's not ideal. Let's see here. So for this, I'm going to need regular. Let's just concentrate on what we can work with right now without undoing any of the plant life, the flora and the fauna. Okay, so the birch planks I could put up and regular wood. Do I have any half slabs? That's what I need to make sure I don't have. Nope, but, but I do have regular wood. So we'll use that first for breaking down the logs. It won't be a whole lot, but it'll be something. Okay, so 48. And with 48, we can come out. I think I'm gonna continue with this width right here. I don't know why I was shifting like I was high up in the air. I guess looking straight up in the air like that kinda, <laughs> I was like, uh. But what's the worst I could do is fall down a step or two, you know? 15, not gonna have enough to do what I wanna do for sure, you guys. And then I'm gonna want it to overhang just a little bit. Might need to take out more trees than we thought. Let's pull out some of these oak logs. Do that and we'll turn this into half slabs as well. Um, now I'm full. Let's go ahead and drop off some of this trash. Bone meal, we still got bone meal. That's good. All right, let's do that. The sun is going down again. I just want to finish out this, this ceiling right quick. Before the mob starts spawning on me. All right. And we'll go in the house and get to bed. Oh, and we'll call that an episode, you guys. Next time we come back, we'll finish off the porch. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, this is Uljin signing off. Have a good one.